And moving on, Sandalwood actor Raghavir breathed his last day at the Gangotri Hospital in BTM layout in Bengaluru today. The actor succumbed to a massive heart attack. He was rushed to the Gangotri Hospital earlier today when relatives thought he was having a seizure. The famous, very famous Kannada actor Raghavir has uh, succumbed to a heart attack. He was taken, he was immediately taken to Gangotri Hospital. There were doubts that he was having a seizure and his relatives immediately took him to Gangotri Hospital. However, there he succumbed to the heart attack. It was later reported that it was a heart attack that he was suffering from. Children today had an experience of a lifetime when they celebrated the birthday of a very popular cartoon character, Chota Bheem in Namma City. Summer holidays have almost come to an end and most of the parents would have sent their children to summer camps to let their child utilize time efficiently. But some unfortunate kids who do not go to schools hate the term holiday. These kids just want to study and use education to come up in their lives. Today, underprivileged kids along with the kids from News 9 were all set to have a jolly day and be a part of a birthday celebration. Since most of the kids are always busy watching cartoons during summer holidays, Bosco Mane, an NGO based in Chamrajpet, decided to bring alive a popular toon character for the kids and celebrate the character's birthday. On the occasion of Pogo's 10th anniversary celebrations, the team decided to get Chota Bheem, one of the most popular cartoon characters, to Namma City and celebrate the character's birthday. The event was organized by Pogo with the help of Bosco Mane and in association with News 9. We are really happy that uh, Chota Bheem has come to Bosco to celebrate his birthday. And it is a very exciting event for the children. Children have never had an experience of meeting Chota Bheem and they were extremely happy to be with the Chota Bheem and celebrate his birthday. And we look forward to such events with the children. The event kick started with assembling the kids who come under the age groups of 8 to 10 from the NGO. The organizers then started playing games with the kids who were put into the groups. The children were excited to participate and gave it their best. Some kids showed their true talents when it came to dancing and were seen dancing without inhibition to Bollywood tunes. <laughs> Two kids were declared the winner of the dancing competition and the boys of Bosco Mane were thrilled at their victory. One of the boys even said that though he did not know how to dance, he ended up winning and he was extremely surprised and happy at his win. <laughs> But the main attraction of the day was yet to come and the children were eagerly waiting to see their favourite Desi cartoon hero Chota Bhim. And the moment finally came when Chota Bhim from Dholakpur arrived on the stage. The children gave Chota Bhim a grand welcome and were seen hooting and shouting for the cartoon character. Chota Bhim mingled with the kids really well and for the kids, it felt as if they had gone to Dholakpur. Chota Bhim then did the Bhim dance and entertained the kids with some classic moves which he does in the cartoon show. It was then time for Bhim to take photographs with the kids and it was like a dream come true for many kids. Bhim also gave some classic poses with the kids making it all the more engaging for the crowd. News 9 employees kids had a fabulous time at the event as well. He's a superhero. He helps everybody and he's the bravest boy in the world. My dad is a superhero. He will help for uh, everyone and uh, he will uh, fight. Uh, fight. Uh, he will be powerful. Uh, huh? <laughs> 
Bagus. Bagus. Wow. So show me your muscles as well. Kiss your muscles. The children were very excited to cut the cake, and Chota Bhim did the honors by cutting the birthday cake. Chota Bhim then made his way out but not before posing with the kids again and giving them some gifts on his birthday. The children then had an amazing lunch and were extremely elated on receiving Chota Bhim goodies and toys. It was one eventful day for the kids meeting Chota Bhim and it's a day they will never forget. These kids have enjoyed themselves thoroughly. What a proud moment it is for them to meet their idol Chota Bhim from Tholakpur. I hope these guys had a nice time and probably next year Chota Bhim will come back. Uh. Uh. Ah, East or West? Dholakpur is the best. East or West? East or West? Ah, Dholakpur is the best. East or West? Vivek is also the best. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Every year, these kids celebrate with Chota Beam his birthday, and it's a proud moment for them, and hopefully they've had a great, great time. If you missed out on Chota Beam's birthday celebrations, bring your kids along the next year, and they'll have some great fun too. For camera person Sushil Kumar, this is Vivek Vinayak for News 9, Bengaluru. Chota Beam! Chota Beam! Chota Beam! Yeah! Yeah! Chota Beam! Yeah! Helmets are vital for any rider, especially in a city like Bengaluru. But what we are about to show you is not any normal helmet. This one comes with a few amazing features, which might just be the solution to drunken driving. Take a look. The number of fatal road accidents over the years is a major cause of concern in the city. Almost every day we hear of accidents caused by drunk drivers or those riding without helmets. Now here is an invention which could be the solution to this menace. This is Adarsha, Aniruddha, Chandrasen and Shresha, students of Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering. These boys with little guidance from their teachers have come up with this unique helmet. Well, looking at all the wires, you must have figured this is not your daily helmet. These helmets have been wired up with amazing technology that detects when a rider takes off his helmet and automatically switches off the ignition of the bike. That's not all that it's capable of. It has also been loaded with an alcohol detector that detects the faintest smell of alcohol and if found, switches off the bike, preventing any chances of a rider opting to drink and ride. Now here's how it exactly works. The name of the model is Modernized Smart Helmet for the Two Wheelers and uh, providing safety to all the riders who are riding the two-wheeler is a prime concern. So the system that we came up with produce give the solution for this particular problem. So it makes it mandatory for the rider to wear the helmet and he shouldn't have consumed the alcohol. And if he fails to do so, do so then the two-wheeler will not start. So I'll just show you the demonstration of this. So basically here in the helmet we have fixed a pressure switch here. And this is the alcohol detector which senses the alcohol. So once you put the helmet on, the pressure, pressure switch will be on so that then it sends the signal to the RF receiver, then it catches the signal and then the ignition will be on. Now I'm wearing the helmet and the ignition is on. Now if I take out the helmet, so the bike turns off. And the second feature is that uh, we have fixed the alcohol sensor here. So if the red light is on, then it blocks the ignition and the two-wheeler cannot be started. If the rider has consumed the alcohol, the red light will switch on. Now, I'll just take the alcohol in my finger and I'll just show it here. So now the red light is on and the ignition goes off. So this is how it works. The, the model that we came up with this is how it works and it avoids the drunken drive situation. A brilliant idea, isn't it? Well, we caught up with the boys who are behind the idea. 
Well, riding without helmets and drink and drive cases have claimed a lot of lives in Bengaluru and we have a bunch of students here who innovated a helmet which can prevent all this. Let's talk to the innovators themselves. Guys, how did you come out uh, with this brilliant idea of coming out with such a helmet? Yeah, actually I'm a rider and we have a bikers team. Uh, in that team, we have lost like two, three members. Just because of not wearing the helmet, we lost two, three members. They are very close to us. That's when I thought of making a helmet which senses the alcohol, uh, alcohol consumption and also not wearing the helmet, it also senses that. That's how we come up with this idea. Right, so, what was the concept? How, how, how easy was it or how difficult was it to come up with such a plan? Uh, it was quite, quite a bit difficult because uh, we are basically mechanical based students but uh, when we try to implement this in electrically way, uh, it was quite difficult for us but then uh, with our guide's guidance we made it very easy and the uh, result is very fruitful for us. So, uh, madam, you're uh, the brain behind all of this, that's what they're saying. So, how, how was it? How do you feel now that they have done something like this? They have done a great work here and they also done, uh, yeah, given a good name for our uh, institution as uh, the best teams for the project. So, what is the plan for the future now? This is like a simplified model. So, how do you plan to expand it in the future or bring it on a large scale? What is the plan? We'll try to make it mandatory for the uh, student, for, for all the riders. That's what our future plan is. So there you go, the innovators have good ideas for Im to improve the safety of the Bengaluru roads and every rider in Bengaluru. So I think the government should go out there and encourage all these students who are coming out with such brilliant ideas. With camera person Balaji, this is Deepak Bopana for News 9.